So researchers in universities, in hospitals, and in industries need single molecule imaging capabilities. The onset of a disease or in developing a therapy, it's the needle in the haystack that matters. You need to look at lots of molecules, one at a time, to understand how they're all different. The culprit can be one or two molecules out of a million. Scopesys is going to tackle this problem by providing accessible single molecule technologies. I'm Sabrina Leslie. I'm a professor of physics at McGill University, and I've also founded a company called Scopesys. We develop new single molecule imaging and manipulation technologies. These are really interesting for researchers developing new diagnostics, new kinds of materials, because they let us look at individual molecules in a large population. Sometimes the case in the onset of a disease that there's a rare mutation and looking at one small piece of DNA among billions can be very important. So our technology is called CLICK. It puts a squeeze on molecules. It clicks them down into nanoscale traps that we embed in the floor or ceiling of two smooth sheets of glass. By holding the molecules in the focal plane of the objective, we can watch them for a long time, minutes, hours, we can capture really rare events. We can watch molecules in these tiny traps and concentrate them so that we see rarer events more often. We can simulate these crowded, confined conditions that you'll get in the inside of the cell that are very biologically relevant. So studying molecules in their native conditions to really learn how they work. Single molecule technologies have a wide range of applications. In the health sector, Small amounts of material, looking at few molecules out of cells, lets you diagnose disease earlier, lets you not misdiagnose, lets you improve quality of life of patients. In the materials or nanotechnology sector, there's a general understanding that macroscopic properties like color and shape actually come from the nanoscopic properties of the single particles that make up these materials. But you need tools to actually look at those single particles and those single molecules and to understand how they work in order to engineer and to be competitive in designing the world's next products, let alone the world's next medicines. So in particular in the past year, another aspect of our growth that's been really important has been in partnership with the Innovation Office as we take next steps and build confidence to take our technology out beyond our laboratory walls through our startup. We're also really grateful to the Office of Technology Transfer that's helped us protect our inventions through patents. And many folks at McGill, we enjoyed participating and winning a little prize in the Dobson Center in the business school a couple years ago. And this community that encourages entrepreneurship and trying to take the steps beyond just the academic world uh, has been fun and a great growth experience.